folks, this is going to be one of two videos today focusing on um, how to use selection tools in Photoshop. This is for week four. I've supplied you with a butterfly image and a barn image. This is the butterfly image. So go ahead and launch Photoshop and open up the butterfly image. It's a JPEG. Once you have it open, you'll see that um, if you have your layers panel open as well, you have a background image and it's just the butterfly. I'd like you to select that background image and do a copy of that layer, which is a command or a control J. Control on the PC, command on the Mac. Next, you're going to shut off the background layer and make sure you're working on the first layer. Okay, um, just because if we want to go back to that original, then we always have the choice. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to find the selection tools and we want to find the magic wand tool. Um, we want to click on that magic wand tool. It looks like a little wand with stars around it. It's up near these selection tools. Lasso selection, quick selection, all of that. So click on the wand, the wand tool. And then um, you'll notice that there's, because um, Photoshop is context sensitive, you have several different options when you click on each one of your tools. If you haven't noticed that already, it's something to really get used to. Um, whatever options are showing are the ones that apply to that particular tool. So you notice that we have different things such as um, new selection, add to selection, subtract from selection, um, similar to what you might see in other programs of Adobe. Also, you have a sample size, a tolerance, um, that sort of thing. And um, the point sample can be by average. Um, I'm going to allow all of ours to default. Go ahead and just select the background color, which is white. Okay, since we have no real specifications that we want um, in, up in that options bar, um, we have this, this selected. The next thing we want to do is um, we want to click the color that we want to apply. Say OK. And um, because it's white, we can, you know, always fill it, go to edit fill and then you can fill it with um, your foreground color or your background color. Foreground color would be the red. Go ahead and fill it with the red. So we have the red. The next thing we're going to do is um, we can make changes to it such as creating a color balance adjustment layer to alter the background color. So let's go ahead and do that. So if you don't know where the color um, adjustment layers are, you go to window adjustments, and then you get this little thing that pops up here. And we might want to go to color balance because this might be a little bit bright for us. Um, color balances are these little scale options. And then what you see here is like a masking layer, an adjustment layer that pops up and you can apply things if you double click, the, um, change the properties of this layer. And then you can change the name to that layer, whatever you'd like to do for that. Um, so the color balance is here. Some of the properties, you know, you can change the properties. You can see that changing. I think it's a little intense, so let's try and match it with maybe a, more of an orange tone. What you might see And that's just for the midtones. Then you can go into shadow, do the same thing. Make it follow in line a little bit more. Um, and then highlights. Try to just match it a little bit closer to the butterfly. Okay. I think that's working for me. So that's your adjustment layer, um, how you might work with that after you select it. Um, next, we're going to 
move on to using the marquee tool. So let's go ahead and save this butterfly as file, save as. We're gonna keep it a layered file. A layered file is multiple layers. I wanna see that you were able to apply that. Um, butterfly, you can, you can actually do um, EX1A underscore butterfly. You can put your last name here, last name underscore EX1A butterfly. PSD. Save that onto the desktop. As long as I know and it's selected and uploaded to the correct link, um, you're good, but usually your last name is a really good bet. You want to start getting in the habit of those naming conventions. Okay, so I will see you in the next video uh, moving on to Marquee Tools.